they, they differentiate into different cell types. And the theory, which has been proven in animals models, but has not been proven in human models, is that they can replace the generative tissue. And the idea is they can prevent the degradation. Uh, we get stem cells from a whole bunch of areas. Um, we were, uh, the two areas that I get uh, stem cells from are bone marrow and fat. We also at Mayo Clinic had an FDA phase one trial that we were culturing these stem cells in a lab. And then we also had a virus that we were injecting into people's knee joints, but those are not approved in the United States. The bone marrow and fat are. And these are two studies that have shown some uh, promising evidence for stem cells. I do wanna say that stem cells are definitely clearly experimental still. We definitely need more research on that. Uh, but these are two recent studies that came out. This study was a double blind randomized control study that came out of Rothman Institute in Philadelphia. And it showed that adipose stem cell injection uh, improved patients pain and function for at least a year and um, the improvement in pain and function was pretty uh, extreme. So these patients um, actually showed a, a, not just a, a clinical benefit, but a, a superior clinical benefit. The next study showed uh, stem cells, adipose stem cells, so stem cells that we get from your fat, and showed three-year follow-up and showed how it was safe, it was minimally invasive, and how it prevent the degradation of arthritis. But I think that still needs to be proven out. Um, and there needs to be more studies to really show that. In animal models, it really has sh shown that it can prevent the degradation of, of arthritis. In human models, it's, it's a lot more challenging. And I, I truly think that there needs to be some more research in this area, but it can be a, a valid treatment for some patients. This was a recent study that showed two-year follow-up of intraarticular stem cell injection published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine. And it showed um, uh, patients' pain function uh, improving tremendously, uh, but needed more randomized control studies in this area. This was a systematic review done by the Department of Orthopedics at UCLA. Um, and it showed that in this review of the literature, they said that there's strong evidence that intraarticular stem cells are safe and generally positive clinical outcomes, but more studies needed. Any of these protocols I, I, uh, or any of these procedures, I, I strongly believe that you need a, a, a rehab protocol. And it usually takes, uh, if it's attended, it takes about six weeks to uh, eight weeks for that 